Alright guys, I've got another audit for you from Vandalia, Illinois. It's the county seat of Fayette County, which is the place that I visited right after this one. And I recently published, and they did not do well. I feel it shows the contrast between different government agencies, different elected officials, different employees. Clearly, Vandalia has their stuff together, and I felt obligated to publish it. Also, I'd like to add that I apologize for the camera work. I thought I had the GoPro was on, and it was on, but it had frozen, and I didn't realize it till halfway through the audit. And I did cut this one short because you guys don't like watching long pass videos. Uh, so enjoy what you got, and feel free to send that mayor an email. I'll leave the email down in the description box below. Thanks for watching. Is this the council chambers? This is council chambers. Awesome. This right is where right all when you walk in. The ends, right it's all here. the magic, right? <laughs> yeah, if you uh have you met the clerk up there? Uh, no, anything. I haven't made it that far yet. Yeah, you can go the city clerk's in there if you need anything. Perfect. Thank you. That's what I'm after. Awesome. Sweet. They got the news media, got their own nice little desk. Maybe these guys would be friendly towards the first minute. <laughs> Hi. I think I've been in here before. It's been a while. <laughs> I just need a uh, Freedom of Information request form. Okay, Carla. Yeah. Um, he needs a Freedom of Information request form. Oh, okay. What are you needing, sir? Just a FOIA form. Oh, okay. Because um, if certain things, we just give you. Oh, awesome. Right, that's good to hear. What are you looking for? The form itself. Oh, the form itself. Yes. <laughs> I mean, if possible, if you tell us, we'll give it to you now. Uh, we'll see. I go around and uh, you're pretty awesome. I'll let you know right now. I'm about ready to turn my cameras off. I go around looking for bad public employees. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I could tell right when I walked in. I walked right into your council chambers and the guy out front was like, this is where all the magic happens. And I was like, this is great. <laughs> Huh? The camera's already full. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I live in Illinois, so... <laughs> that's, Are you the one that did the Main Street program? Uh, I don't think so. Did, with all the Main Streets throughout? Uh-uh. Oh, okay. I, I do uh, city halls, uh, prisons, jails, uh, sheriff's office, post office, military bases. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, anywhere my tax dollars go, I, I go with the camera. We're pretty easy at giving stuff out. I can tell. <laughs> as long as it's not a child saying, oh yeah, or something like that, then if we that has to go through the courts. Awesome. But. I'm an independent journalist. Oh. I go around and test the government, and I can already tell you guys are good. Uh, yeah. My my claim to fame here recently, the biggest fish I caught is I just settled a lawsuit with the chairman of the Illinois Supreme Court oh, Rules Committee. Yeah. I caught him violating Open Meetings Act oh, seven different ways on camera, and he told me to shut the camera off, of course, because you know I just caught a high-ranking attorney breaking the law in the state of Illinois. Yeah, no. So, uh, I, 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 by the way, I don't I don't. By the way, I'm Rick I'm, Gottman, I'm Mayor Vendee. Oh, nice, I'm Kent. I'm Charlie Berenbanger. Kent both. I'm, uh, uh, where do you live, Kent? I'm from Quincy, Illinois. I normally don't tell people that, that those types of details, well, I but... I people in Quincy with the railroad up there and Jason Anderson and those guys. I don't know a Jason Anderson. I can tell you I hate the train that goes through. Well, we have more than one train. We have like 20 trains come through there, and they well, blow their whistle. Uh, BNSF and UP, but this is a short line you've got up there. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. They make a bunch of noise. I only have one card left, so I'll give it to the mayor. Okay. Uh, that'll let you know. Uh, 
if you watch those videos, understand what I'm doing is legal, lawful. I'm generally very polite when I approach people, uh -huh. but I get a different response when I come in. Like I went to uh, McLean County, which is Bloomington, and uh, the county clerk just threw a complete and total fit. Uh, called the cops on me, uh, which I get the cops called on me all the what time. So I'm like, fine. Call so they're me. in violation of law there. Yes, they were, <laughs> and they for were. The and the reason is you, if someone asks you for something, we're pretty free of giving stuff out. That's, awesome. Thank you. That's. Uh, if you want to stop by my office? I'll be over there after a while. But call right. that cell phone. Number. Okay. Maybe in downstairs or upstairs in the building. Okay. We need we need more we need more elected officials like you guys honestly because oh that's right he is <laughs> he's appointed <laughs> so you guys know each other he's on the police commission okay okay that's actually when I caught the chairman of the Illinois Supreme Court Rules Committee I was going to a merit commission meeting in Adams County and uh, and uh, he I, all I want to do is attend the meeting because I had seen these meetings I've been watching it for like four four sessions I had missed and I was like finally I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna see what they actually do there yeah. and I, I went in I showed up on time thank you I showed up on time they didn't have anything posted on the on the windows or walls they had changed the meeting time they had changed the location they had not put up the prior 48 hour notice illegal. All, illegal. Yeah, illegal without a doubt yeah. and then the website the website didn't have it they didn't have their minutes or agendas on there for the past three meetings then get this and you guys check this stuff because I'm not gonna, I'm not going to investigate your website because I can find a lot by not even leaving my bedroom I can literally catch them just scrolling through a website but I went to the website they had their private cell phone numbers on the public website and I told them when I when I caught them I said look I warned uh, two of the members I said you guys have your personal cell phones up on that website I said I'm gonna publish that if you don't take it down I'm gonna give you one week before I publish and you know another violation they got there yeah. Yeah, they violated their own privacy is what they did, so I published. It, all of the, the phones that, that they use for that, mm -hmm. if you notice mine is 9788. Mm -hmm. If you notice, I have one phone and two phones. Yeah, me too. <laughs> that there is my published number on my card. Yep, and, and that's, uh, that's I, I do the same. This phone, phone is foible. Yep, and I do, uh, that, that's nice that you actually know that, because yeah. a lot of people don't, they'll take their, their take their phones out of their pocket, and they'll video, video record well, me right back, and I'm like, that's okay, I'll file a FOIA and I'll get your phone. So, so. what we've done here also, that uh, to meet all the requirements, is all, we went paperless for meeting packets for our employees, or mm -hmm. uh, aldermen, and uh, all of our, we, they all have a computer okay. that's issued by the city. And I've told them up front, these, these computers are foible, yeah. no personal. Yeah, and somebody like me, I, if I smell a rat at a, at a location, I've got a camera issue there. I think my camera just broke. But if I smell a rat, I dig deep. I got to run. Good okay, no, nice Good you. To you. You too. But no, we, we post two places. We post back here. Yep, I seen which this. Is, which is, you can't see from the window. So out front here, we have another window. That's, this used to be an old bank. Okay. So it's a walk-up window that we post all the agendas on. Perfect. And so you'd be amazed. And then, well, they do it now, yeah. but, and then in that foyer. In the foyer also. there. So we post it three places. Perfect. And, and we always send it to the media. And you'd be amazed. It, you guys obviously run a tight ship. I could tell walking in. I've walked into, I think I'm over a thousand city halls now. But uh, I can tell generally quick walking in what's going on. So if I, I meet somebody that's frowning at me right when I walk in, that's not a good start. <laughs> but I'm generally looking for lawful things. A rude employee, me. Oh, I don't care. I don't work for you. So I was like, you want to be on YouTube? Continue with your attitude. But basically, what I go around for is look for Open Meetings Act, FOIA, uh, and First Amendment, uh, Fourth Amendment, Fifth Amendment, Sixth Amendment, Tenth and Fourteenth Amendments. So those are the ones I test on. Uh, I do some criminal law, but most of the stuff. Yeah, one big thing is I, I try to attend 99.8% of the meetings. Mm -hmm. I attend 100% of the council, mm -hmm. but all the commission meetings. I don't attend uh, the uh, police commission because that's uh, my chief handles that. Okay. But uh, if they're starting to get out of line, I really mean to say you can't. Good. Can't talk about that. Yeah, we need more mayors like you, I'll you know, tell you. They do not, it does not meet the, well, probably the reason on the way I am is I belong to the Illinois Municipal League. Okay. I don't know if you know what that is. I do, actually. <laughs> Brad Cole. 
Do you uh, know Brad? No, I don't. Executive director. Well, I, I do. I was president of that association not last year, but the year before. Okay. So I keep up on all the, all that okay. stuff. So have you heard you've heard of a First Amendment auditor? Mm -hmm. That's what I am. Uh, I, although that's it's not a fair term because really I am a journalist. I, I do publish. I, I, I know law. I know what I can publish. I know where I can walk. What I can do. Uh, there's more to it than just First Amendment rights. There's so much more because uh, I have to know property law, I have to know stalking, I have to know harassment statutes, and when I, I have to know all the different statutes in the different states that I go to. And then on top of that, I gotta know the federal law. And the case law is the most important. So it is more complicated than if you just watch one of these YouTube right. videos, you think you know, he's just going around annoying people. No, I, I taught tax law across the US for about seven years with my mother. Uh, before I said I'm done working for family, I want to do something with laws, but I don't like sitting in an office all day, right. so I start to travel. No, that, I'm pretty, you can ask Carla that. <laughs> that if they get on the, off the topic, I get them to reel them back in. Yeah. <laughs> she I'll gets have, mad at me sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have to go to, uh, I, I'm coming back to the area, I'm coming back to Pl uh, Pena, Illinois to go visit a coffee shop and I'm going to do a feel good video out of there. Are you going so, to Scooped? I think that's the name of it. They're special yes. needs people. It's what? They're, they're all special needs employees. Oh, I don't know. It's a beautiful building. I'll tell you that. That's what caught my, my eye at first and it said coffee, so uh, <laughs> I'm that way. <laughs> so, uh, and it turned out they were closed, but they were, the doors were open, so I walked right in and I figured out, I was like, I'm going to have to come back because all, all the special needs guys in there wanted to be on camera. Oh, and I, 